Hi, my name is Jim, PyDog Software. I'm going to record a little demo today for the Big Undo. So, first thing we want is a new project. And, uh, fairly simply, we're going to go ahead and uh, copy the Big Undo module and paste it into our new project. So we got our big undo module. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is to initialize the big undo in the open of our app event. We're going to big undo dot init, and we can pass a integer here for the uh, loop period for the undo checking. Um, we'll just go with a default of one second. That works fairly well for most situations. And first thing, I'm going to make a, put together a, basically a simple little email authoring window here. And with the big undo, most of your controls are going to have <clears throat> automatic undo capabilities. Um, everything list box is included, so and we'll include a text area for the body of our message. And some basic formatting stuff here. We'll add bold, and then uh, we'll do a pop up menu for the text size. Do, 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 do. And for our bold action, we'll just toggle the the bold status of the selected text. And then in our pop up menu, We'll do that, and <coughs> excuse me. One other thing we'll want to do in the open event of our pop-up menu, we want to disable undo checking for the pop-up menu because um, we want to undo the formatting in the text area, not the selection of the pop-up menu. So add some values to the pop-up menu here. And should be all functional when we run it. Let's take a look. So we can go ahead and do some formatting. And then we can undo the <coughs> formatting, undoes the text all the way back. And you'll notice the, uh, the modified state of the window is managed automatically. And uh, you can disable that or you can leave it enabled. And the next clip I'll be showing how you can use the big undo to save and open documents and that also uh, affects how it 
we'll manage the modified state of your document. So check out the next clip for that.